Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Hearts Final 4, Kaiserreich of Germany, let us continue on from where we last left off. So, 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 the Italian Republic is kind of collapsing, I mean, I knew that this was going to happen, you might be like, hey, why didn't you do anything more than just sit troops in Venice? Remember, the troops in Venice are just there to delay the inevitable. And then actually, maybe if they can survive until the, um, into the second Villa Creek, I think that would be very, very nice. Okay, I want you to go take... Giza. 78. Take Alexandria. I need some troops moving in this direction to hold you off. Actually, I want you like this instead. I say that, but these guys in Alexandria apparently are not budging as easily as I was kind of hoping that they would. We could maybe try, I mean, Gary and Anna moving away towards Chicago. What is the CSA at in terms of capitulation? 66%. I mean, that seems pretty good. And I wouldn't mind just moving maybe some troops in the future to move towards Washington and kind of capture this entire region as well. That'll probably be a post-takeover of Chicago event. Because we really are going... We do need to take Chicago. No, no doubt about that. It, it needs to happen. Okay, we're 65. I mean, Gary and Anna, it is worth 15 points for some reason. I don't really know why it is, but it just is. You go, you go here, you go here. You move in this direction. No, you, you, you sit still for now. Giza is worth 8 points. And then we can definitely, we want to turn around. We want to take Alexandria. We can take this province that allows us to get a little bit better uh, coverage here. Move you up like so. Take in this. And then if I can take you, it'll be a complete encirclement. Which, of course, is going to be quite nice for us. All of red here. Can ignore this for now. So Egypt, where are you on the uh, on the being dead scale? Which of the you're this one? Okay, you're at uh, fifty four percent. So like we're definitely getting there. We're getting closer. It's just not quite one hundred percent where we need to be. Modify victors in the Villa Creek. I mean that seems pretty good because I'm. Look, a lot of my numbers are just terrible. A lot, of my, a lot of my stats are pretty bad. Chicago fell. Yes. Okay. It actually fell to the fucking French. Okay, let's move this unit here. So, the Canadian Volunteers. Your job is to be pushing your way into the Midwest. Why is the Midwest mostly in the East? I don't know. I would like someone to explain this to me. But we'll keep you here. This new army... I want to kind of station, like in this general area to push towards Washington and Baltimore. And then these troops are going to be moving up towards Milwaukee, take Madison, maybe take Springfield. A couple of those, like, these northern cities. Minneapolis is core. None of you are core, right? No, they're still occupied states. I'm trying to remember if you can get core um, during the Civil War or if it's only afterwards. I don't remember 100%. What are you? You're in Indianapolis. It is a core state. You guys counter this guy. We've taken Madison. Um, Minneapolis is 15. Let me just take a look at where we're at exactly here. CSA is down now to 47. The numbers are improving for sure. Washington is 40. Philadelphia is 40 as well. We got a lot of big numbers here. A lot of good numbers we could work with. MP I don't care about too much. I'm going to start nuclear research. I mean, we have six research slots, so we might as well do something with them. There's so much fucking desert, I can't see what the hell I'm looking at. Okay. You move here, you move here. I would like to get this encirclement 
dealt with if at all possible. Is your worth three? I'm trying to think how that benefits us exactly. What are you? Resource penalty minus 10%. I can see that being useful on tanks. If you don't have the economy to actually really sustain them. But I don't think we need it ourselves. Yeah, you're all golden. Let's reinforce the Lithuanian police. Sounds okay. And let's build a, a civilian factory. Let's build two civilian factories. Now a lot of... Entente troops. What's Springfield worth? 15 as well. Let's move in that direction. I'm just hoping the Entente, I really do not want them to overextend themselves. It is such an easy thing for the AI to do. And I really want to avoid it at, at, at all costs. Planes in reserve. These are the planes in Germany. I don't care about those planes right now. That's, that's something we can worry about. When the larger war actually takes place. But until then, I don't think we really need to worry. These two Egyptian troops are going to die. I really need you to die as well so that we can get an encirclement on Alexandria. Excellent. This is what we wanted to see. You can hold position. Don't want any of you guys attacking right yet. And then, of course, we just push away into uh, Iran. And then get the Ottoman Empire to join our faction. Now, are you going to move troops out of Alexandria? I don't think so. So we just kind of need to force you out. Okay, we've taken Springfield. I would like to take Indianapolis as well. I'm going to shrink your line to be mostly here. I kind of wish I knew how many units were in, like, New Jersey, for example. You're an occupied state. I don't know why. Poor states. Like, we do want to kill you. And, yeah, push our way towards Washington just because it is worth a ton of points. Do I move Blue Army over there as well? I'm just, Again, I just don't want to extend myself. To, a, to an absurd extent. And definitely die. Like, that doesn't seem very beneficial to me. Maybe there's some more... Maybe there's a benefit to dying that, I, that I'm not seeing right now. I don't know. But I kind of don't think there is. Okay. I want you moving your way down to here. I want you moving your way down here as well. Alexandria's collapsed. I guess the Egyptians down to 25. You're worth three. You're worth one. Has Sudan always been a core of Egypt? I thought that was only a um I could have I could have sworn that was just occupied state, but maybe not. So we do need to take uh, Beni Souf, followed by, you know, any other city as we move our way down south. Usually getting our way down to Asut is enough for the collapse, at least in my experience. Uh, okay, I want you to delete this, move you here. Cincinnati is worth 10. I still, I still want to push into here as much as we can. Two years at a time is too expensive. 1.2 years is also a little expensive. You know what? We'll take the advanced um, conversion. I think once we take... Again, assuming you're not making this stuff cores. I think once we take Indianapolis, once we take Cincinnati... Then we can move all of our troops to kind of deal with these other major cities here. And then when it's just between... Canada and say um when it's just between Canada and the Pacific States at that point we can just not be there like we I don't care at that point that isn't important 
everything else kind of surrounding that is more important. Okay, mobilize here, please. Okay, we've taken Benny Suf. And then I need you guys going here. Take Ashut, which is worth one victory point. That should kill Egypt. And it should be the end of the, uh, the Cairo Pact. Unless I'm missing something, I don't think I am. And then let well, me just move our troops to go deal with Iran. And when Iran's dead, we're going to be absolutely golden. Hey, we got a cipher against coming to France. Can we upgrade you a little bit more? Yes. My next cipher, I guess, is. Well, that, I guess we'll, we'll, we'll take Russia next. One thousand days. Uh, is there anybody that's going to be a little bit easier? Four hundred days against the SRI. Okay, I will take. I'll take that one instead. Thank you. It'll be, a, it'll be a little easier for me to, you know, deal with. What are your forests? Is there any plains over here? It's a lot of hills. And hills aren't that good for us. Okay, there's Indianapolis. Indianapolis is worth a lovely 15. And if you can kind of push away in this direction... Get another small encirclement. Okay, now we're going to take Cincinnati. CSA is now down to 41. So it is, it is like we are making progress. It's just not the world's fastest progress. Which is unfortunate because I would, I, would, I would love fast progress. No, please, I need to take this city. The other stuff doesn't matter. I, I don't think we need to push further than this. If we do, we can just take this city worth one victory point as well. And that should secure us our win. And then, of course, we just put all the troops on the border with the uh, Iran. And that will not be a problem. Here, move you here. We have all we have troops actually now covering a lot of this stuff, which is nice. And with our extra factories we have now, what do we want? We have our radar detections. You know, let's at least, let's get some of these to level two then. Upgrade those bad boys. Thirty-nine. It's thirty-nine overkill. Let's take the nineteen forty. Ah, nineteen forty-one though is actually a little much. Let's go for the uh, thirty-nine recon. Now I don't remember if we actually have recon companies um, really researched, or even in our armies. But I don't know if we really even need them. By the way, our air force now should be here. Where do I send these troops? I kind of think like in these two provinces, we hit this um, hills and then push our way down south. I feel like that's fairly reasonable for us. Danish thugs have brutally attacked a village of Christianfield, killing a soldier on leave and two custom officials in the process and hurl, uh, hurting German speakers in the village. Denmark! Of all the things that I've done for you, you allow your city citizens to bully mine? How is Egypt not dead, by the way? We're exactly 20%, huh? Okay. Ottoman volunteers. Move your way here. We're going to take this city. Because Luxor, I mean, it is worth three, but I think it's a little far away. So we just got to push to here. And that should get us where we need to be. Thank you for the political power, Egypt. Or Egypt. Um, what the hell are your countries called? Denmark? Okay, we're holding on for as long as we can here. 
Now, it does look like we'll probably end up kind of faltering in the long run. Can't take you. Let's take organic statehood. Send you to Paris. I don't even care about becoming spy master. I don't think it's that important for us. What are you? You're also hills. There's only one province here, so that'll be easier for us. I mean, we're at 85. If we can just push away to Philadelphia. Like, that, that would be great. 75. Okay, we're one province away. That should mean we can probably get the Shmari volunteers to start moving their way towards Iran, but I would really wait until Egypt's actually dead, dead to do that. Hey! Okay, the Egyptians have collapsed. We are big fans of this. Okay. Ottoman volunteers, you guys are gonna move towards Tehran. These troops are gonna put you like right in the southern bit of Iraq. You're gonna push the south, but I'm just gonna push the north. Now, you still are at war in Asia, but that is not my concern in any, like, capacity whatsoever. I want you here, here. They have one single militiaman defending Philadelphia. So, I'm not, I'm not too worried. We can repair the Suez. Genuinely, I don't think that actually matters. I'm not even going to worry about it. Do we get anything off of this? I think the only thing we... I guess I think... There might be like a modifier. But I, I don't think it's going to matter so much for us. It's probably a modifier where it's like, oh, it's nice to have, but... If we don't have it, it's also kind of fine. What is Trenton worth? Five? Newark is worth 15. I mean, we are going to need Philadelphia. We are going to need Washington. Can you stop moving your troops around and just kind of focus on one spot, please? I would appreciate that. Okay, let's build more factories. I want a massive, massive wartime economy, okay? okay three. Socialists, the socialists have lost in Greece. Now, again, I don't believe Greece can join our faction because we did um, do the uh, tariffs against them. So they will probably, if they join with the Entente, that'd be great, but they'll probably end up joining with Russia. Which is a little bit disappointing, but it's, it's not that bad. Of all the things that could happen, it's probably among the best. And I just want Red Army basically just around Tehran. Other areas do not concern me. If I were to attack here, then attack you. I mean, it's a, it's a little loud down there, I can tell you that much. Sixty. What if we just attack you? I mean, I know you're in the mountains. But there's just one of you versus two of you. And I've been told two is a smaller number than one. And you're planes, right? So you can maybe try to take this province instead. But the problem is that we do need the supplies. And the supplies we can get from Philadelphia. Albania joined the Rags Pack. We'd love to see it. Industrial projects. Let's do industrial advisors. Sure, why not? Okay, organic statehood. You don't do anything for us. Let's 
let's take you. 42 days. Seems like a fairly decent uh, price. Now, is there anywhere else we can go with you? Computer supplies are bad. There's no denying that. I think we just keep trying to hit you. Like, maybe we can meet up in the middle. Because, again, if you're in planes, it, it's easier to hit planes than it is to hit a city. I think there's like a negative, negative 30. Yeah, and our air support isn't as effective there. Which is also not great. If we can make Baltimore. It is a, um, it is a port province. Harrisburg. Where is our, where is the close supply hub? It's like, it's actually nowhere to be fucking seen, man. It is nowhere to be seen. Are you in the Reich's Pact? You're not, but you are guaranteed bio, so you're basically in the Reich's Pact. I wish I knew what the hell you guys were even doing. I'm going to have you force attack. I think it might be a little risky, but I think it does make sense. As long as nobody goes to this province, we're good. Hey, okay, done. We've taken an airfield. Where are our planes? I'm going to fly you here. Where are where are you guys going? We can go here. We can counterattack you and move our way down towards Washington. Twenty-eight. Move you guys here. Move you here. Take Baltimore. Happy to do not attack. Do not attack. Ukrainian Foreign Ministry has just informed us the Captain Anatoly Hydrik of the OVDV, the Ukrainian Intelligence Service, has managed to steal documents detailing a Russian plan to launch major military offensive in Ukraine during this year. Um, the plans are remarkably detailed on both sides. It is worrying how well they are aware of the Ukrainian troops' concentrations. This must be because of amateurs' uh, internal security of the ODVP and the political unreliability of the Russian, Ukrainian Russian population. This is information is a double-edged sword, as we are now aware of the in-depth information regarding Russian troop concentrations, air bases, supply depots, and artillery positions. The Ukrainian government has also requested reinforcements to the border to potentially deter Russians from attacking. Though if the plans are advanced to this point, it does not seem probable that a few additional divisions of the Donbass will dissuade Dmitry III's regime from their offensive plans. And, oh, okay, actually, no, we're, we're good? 76? 71? Anyways, I think it's going to be a good point for us to end off this episode. So if you enjoyed, thumbs up. Nigel, we close something down. You want to see more, subscribe, and goodbye.